Hey, chips, let's go. You know what? This reminds me of the man, the myth, the legend, George Crum. Let's talk about it. George Crum, born in 1822, of mixed heritage. He had an African-American father, a Native American mother. I mean, this man was highly skilled. He was a hunter. He was a fisherman. He was a farmer. But his real passion was cooking. Crumb's passion for cooking eventually led him to Moon Lake House, a resort in Saratoga Springs, New York, where he became the big guy in charge. He was the chef. And this is how the story goes. So basically, he's chefing up in the kitchen, doing his thing. People are loving his food. He's becoming one of the top chefs in his area. And, you know, a customer comes in. He's a little bougie. He wants potatoes. So Crumb brings out the potatoes, puts out the specialty. The customer's not having it. He's like, ah, the potatoes are too thick. So Crumb gets the food back in the kitchen. He's like, too thick. Man, I've been doing this for a minute, okay? And basically Crumb says, all right, if you want to play games, we'll play, you'll play your little games. So what he does is he takes his knife, he slices so thin that you can probably see through the potato uh, into these little wedges, throws them in some fats, and then they get real dry and crumbly and then eventually just toss a bunch of salt on it. Gives it back to the customer thinking that he's gonna hate it. You know, he was petty like that. And so the customer sits down, tries to put the fork in it, everything cracks, it breaks. He eventually tasted it and he was like, wait a minute, that's, that's kind of good, that's, that's kind of hidden. From that day, that dish became known as the Saratoga chips. People from all over were coming to come and try that out. And Crumb was big time, all right? He was kind of feeling himself. So after a little while, you know, hanging out at the, the original spot, he moved on. If the potato chip situation happened in 1853, by 1860, Crum had bought his own land, started a farm, and created his own restaurant called Crum's Place. He basically had the first farm, the table model. Maybe not the first, but you know, he was, he was doing it well. And uh, people were coming from all over, like I said. There were celebrities coming through. He was like a celebrity chef of his time. Chips eventually blew up and, and went worldwide national and other people profited from it but unfortunately crumb did not patent his idea but he's still seen as the innovator even though people are in debate about it they always put more air in these things than actual chips 